Ladies and gentlemen, we're about to start a new paper. Uh, I can't do it. Alright. I don't actually uh, uh, talk like that. Oh, kind of. Uh, yeah, so we're gonna check out this new game called Jusant. Uh, all I know about it is that it's made by Dotnod, which is the same studio that created Life is Strange, which is personally one of my favorite games of all time. Easily top 20, top 30. Uh, top 20. Uh, top 30. Uh, top 20. Hot, uh, um, yeah. Uh, and I know it's a rock climbing game, but that's, that's pretty much it. I don't know if it's supposed to be like a simulator or maybe... I, I'd imagine Donut would make something more story driven. So um, I'm expecting some really cool characters. Uh, the art style looks already nice, similar to Life is Strange 2. And a fantastic score and sound design. So. Jusant. Jusant. A French maritime term qualifying a period of low ocean tides. 10 out of 10. I'm joking. Turn this up. <laughs> this thing we play as this guy. Looks really cool. Gonna climb that. No harness. My hands are already getting sweaty. You know when you look at a rock climbing wall and your hands start getting sweaty? Wish I had some chalk on me right now. Easy send. I watched that uh, documentary on Netflix about that guy who climbed that mountain without a harness. He climbed for three hours straight. That like that's just insane how could be able to pull that off not everybody but I mean if you're determined heights chapter one day mark so I already love the art style and RT to hold. LT or RT. Oh, 
Oh, okay. So you have to press left trigger and right trigger simultaneously. You release the trigger and then you press it again to grab onto a hold. in the rope. Damn. Beautiful. I like the idea of holding and releasing the trigger every time you climb. I'm guessing as we go along, you're gonna have to really time your uh, jumps. Hold the place up, baton. All right, so you get oh, I almost fell to my death. Hey, right, so you can dino. Nice. It actually felt pretty good. Alright, so of course there is a stamina meter. Now it shows up. Okay, so yeah. Now, now you gotta really aim which holds you want to grab onto. Give your stamina still, so you're fine. You're fine if you stand still, but then as you move, your stamina goes down. So you can refill your gauge. So it doesn't you could just hang on here and it won't go down. There's probably gonna be a point where you can't refill your gauge and you really have to time your climbs strategically. Wind the rope. I guess you hear things that have happened in the past or something. So you got flashback. I'm 
interesting. So I'm like wondering what the objective is here. They're trying to find something ancient, I suppose. I'm seeing a bunch of like... Yeah, there's these drawings on the wall here. So far, no enemies. I'm, I mean, I'm not expecting <laughs> to be, you know, finding a sword and killing a couple goblins or something, but... So far, I'm liking it. It's a pretty relaxing game. So I'm supposed to be here. Okay, I see it. I know. I know. Gamba. I know. Gamba. My hands are actually, my hands are actually sweaty right now. Oh God! Incline climbing. Yep, my worst nightmare. Probably more stamina. Some of these holds don't look stable. Very, some of these look slopey. Like a jump? Oh god. Only I could double jump like that in real life while climbing.
magic conch. You mean like this? Oh no, that's a demo. Oh my god. <laughs> oh. Alright, alright. Well, that was just science. A uh, juice song. Uh, first impressions. Beautiful looking game. Uh, I like the mechanics. The climbing seems pretty. It seems pretty straightforward. Um, I know it's just the beginning of the game, so it'll probably get more challenging. But just basing off it seems like a pretty i would say casual experience i'm not expecting to you know be too challenged but uh we'll see uh, i mean like you can't even jump off the cliff right so there's that or i'm wondering if you could maybe have a difficulty where you could fall off the edge or something because that would add an extra challenge to the game and make you know your climbs more uh It'll help you strategize your climbs more. I kind of just breeze through the demo to be honest, but when the game does come out, I'll do a lot more exploration. And that's what I'm wondering too. I'm wondering how linear this game is and if there's different paths you could take to reach the end goal or if there's just little like side missions you could kind of like sidetrack to. But anyways, I'm pretty hyped. As a rock climber myself, this seems like a pretty fun, pretty chill game. It's a nice break. And I'll see you next time when we actually get the full game and test it out. Alright.